you know, fifth grade has a lot of fun stuff to offer. One of those things is math. Yay! Okay, so you are aware of the place value system. In fifth grade, you're going to take the place value system to the next level. So right now, Mr. Johnson and I are going to talk to you about the power of 10. 10 is going to be your best friend this year because along with 10, he has friends 100, 1,000, and so on. So right now we're going to show you just a glimpse of 10's power. Let's start with one unit. Ms. Johnson, can you confirm this is one? That is one unit. This is one unit. Now, you can think of it as just one cube. You can think of it as one bean, one Skittle, one Oreo, whatever it's going to be. We're going to connect math to the real world all the time. But for now, we're just going to call it a unit. Now we're going to multiply thank you, sir, this one unit by one power of 10. So let's see what happens. One multiplied by ten gives you ten. Do you agree? I do agree. Awesome. And that would be. Don't mind me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we took that one unit and we increased it by one power of ten. So now we have ten whole units. Let's do it again, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So. We're going to multiply this one power of 10 by another power of 10. So this 10 now becomes, sir, if you will, 100. 100. So, awesome. So this went by one power of 10 to this, from 10 to 100. So you're asking yourself, wait, what did we just do? What we did was we increased our one unit by two powers of 10, which gave us 100. Okay, shall we do it again? We should. Okay, so we're gonna take this 100 units. Remember, it could be beads, Skittles, Oreos, whatever it is, this 100 units, we're gonna multiply it by another power of 10. Can you predict what's going to happen? I thought so. We get a thousand. One thousand units. Can you believe it? So it went, sir, did it go from this? Yes. To this? It increased. It went from a hundred? Yes. To a thousand? Yes. It did. And it's just that easy. Now, Mr. Johnson, we're going to switch it up now. Okay. Do you want to start at this one? Yes, we okay. are. So, we are now going to... Divide. Dividing is a direct relative of multiplying. So we're going to be working with these two a lot this year. Multiplying and dividing fractions, decimals, it's going to happen. So get ready. Okay, so we're going to now divide 1,000 by 1 power of 10. So now think of dividing as decreasing. So what we're going to do is move down one power of ten. Oops. Just kidding. Ha! Ha! Just checking to see if you're watching closely. You, you caught that, didn't you? Okay. So we're going to divide one thousand by one power of ten. What do we get, Sarah? 100. 100. It's just that easy. Okay, so we're not going to go through all the steps because you can probably predict what's going to happen. They're just going to keep decreasing all the way back down to one unit. So we're going to show you what that looks like in a place value chart. Now, you, like I said, you've met the place value chart like in first grade. So we're going to show you something that you can use at home 
if you don't have a place value chart. Come on in for a closer look. Take a look. Okay, so I'm taking a regular Expo marker. Please ask your parents before you do this at home. Don't always you, do a regular marker. <laughs> you can write on your awesome binder that you're going to use if you don't have a whiteboard at home. You just stick a piece of white paper inside the window. Make a whiteboard. Okay, so let's pretend you need a place value chart. So we have <laughs> a tens place, a ones place, then you have what I like to call decimal Dan. So your decimal stays right here, and I'm just going to bring decimal down. What we have here is the tenths place. Let's see. Tenth. Tenth place. Remember that. T H S. Tenth. Can you hold that for me. I'd love to. Okay. So then, after tenths, you have hundredths. Can you say that? Hundredths. Get the tongue in between the teeth there. Blow a little air. Yeah. So, let's say you have ten Oreos. You got that? 10 Oreos. And now you're going to divide those Oreos by one tenth. Divide by one power of 10. Okay, are you ready? Watch this. Now, you may have heard people tell fantasy stories about a decimal hopping. That doesn't happen. No, it doesn't happen. Decimals, Don't let that happen. No. Decimals don't hop in the real world. What's actually happening is the digits are moving in the place value chart. Yes, there is a giant cosmic place value chart in the world right now where numbers are sitting and they are moving place values. To the right or to the left? To the right, to the left, to the right. But the decimal doesn't move. So you're going to get used to that in fifth grade too. So let's see what happens. When we divide 10 by one power of 10. Ready? Each digit is going to move. So this zero comes here. This one moved here. So let's see what you have now. You started with 10 Oreos. You divided it by, by one by power 10. of 10. So now what do you have? You have one ten. Just one. See that one? So Sarah, did 1. it go from 0. 10 to 1? It shifted what? It did. The number shifted one place to the... To the right. Notice that? Each digit moved one column to the right. So you went from 10 to 1. So when we divide, it's just which way, Sarah? When you divide, you're always going to move to the right. And when you multiply, you're going to move to the left. Okay. So kind of think of the Cupid Shuffle when you're dividing and multiplying on the place value chart. Because you're either going to go to the left, to the left, or to the right, to the right. So when you're multiplying, you're going to the left, to the left. If you're dividing, to the right, to the right. If you don't believe me, let's try it again. This time, we're going to multiply. So let me just extend my place value chart. Let's say multiply this one. you have one Skittle. Okay, just one Skittle, and you're going to multiply it by one power of ten. Notice I have one in my ones column. Okay, so let's multiply it by one power of ten. Well, you can think to yourself, what is one times ten? One multiplied by ten is ten. So notice how your one... You moved the number, not the decimal. I moved the number. Yes, thank you. Not the decimal. Thank you. One oh. increased to 10. 
So now your one that was in the ones place has now moved to the tens place because it increased by one power of ten. Are we good? I think we're good. In closing, I would just like to say I really hope that you know your multiplication facts when you come to fifth grade. That would really help you a lot. <laughs> because believe it or not, we're not just going to be multiplying one. It gets bigger. So we just want you to have a general positive place value understanding.